What's going on guys? Welcome to the Volk Ranch YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the almonds, the almonds. Uh, I talked about in the first video just a little bit coming out here. And uh, just starting off we're going to talk about kind of the crop itself, how they're grown, and how we kind of get started and, and get to where they are at now. And just kind of the basics of, of almond farming. There's a ton that goes into it. I could, there could be hours of uh, video and episodes on the almond. So we're going to try and keep it pretty basic. Uh, like I said in the first video, almonds are grown on a tree. And uh, this is what they look like at this stage. We're now, we're, it's actually June 1st today. Uh, so this is what they look like at this stage. Uh, this isn't, obviously, you're not going to pick this out at the store and eat this. Uh, almonds are a seed, and so we actually have, there's this outer hole, and then inside this hole there's a shell, and then inside the shell is the almond. So I'll break this apart real quick for you, and so you can see inside. i got to use my mouth to open these because these are really solid tight right now. So you can see there's this outer hole, there's this outer hole here, and then there's this shell beginning to form around the, the almond itself, and here's the actual almond, almond. And right now it's pretty soft. Like I can squish it, it's just <clears throat> squish it and it's just got a lot of moisture in it. But you can see it's starting to it's got its shape that it needs, and uh, it's just really soft right now, still forming. So we, as the growers, we take care of the trees. We, we're the ones who put all the money into planting them, doing all the work, uh, getting the sprinklers going, making sure they're getting water, getting bees for pollination, all the things that they need going on and on. And I'll go over more kind of in depth of what we do exactly for farming. But that's what we do. Once, we're, once we harvest them, then they'll get sent to a holer and sheller who will take that hole off, take that shell off, and all you have left is that ammon. And then from there, that'll get sent. For us, it goes to Blue Diamond. And so uh, we market our almonds with Blue Diamond. And uh, great, great, awesome company. Uh, it's a co-op, you know, so it's grower-owned. Maybe a little later on, we can see if we can get some, uh, get some guys from Blue Diamond out here. We can kind of do an interview with them and kind of kind of get to, to know them better and get to talk with them. But uh, So that's who we market our almond to. So the Holer and Sheller will send it to them. They'll go through, they'll do all the, they'll pick out the bad ones because there's going to be bad, it's just any crop, there's going to be bad ones. They'll go through, pick them out, size them, they'll sort them, and then uh, package them and send them off to you guys, to, send them off to the stores for you guys to, to grab. Okay, so kind of, I'm going to walk you through, uh, try and do this as quick as possible, how we get these almond orchards the way they are today. So, first things first, we have to deep rip the ground. Now the reason we have to deep rip is because uh, the soil here in the Central Valley, especially in our area, about two, three feet down, some, some areas four feet down, we have a layer of soil called hard pan. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It is concrete hard, rock solid. Uh, the roots can't penetrate through it with these trees because these trees, we want the roots, they're, you want them to go down at least about six feet. And they can't get past that hard pan. It cannot penetrate through that hard pan, through that basically concrete layer. So we have to have, like I showed you, those big giant bulldozers. So we'll have uh, D10s, D11s, depends on how, how deep your uh, hard pan is, how thick it is to be able to break it up. And they have that giant shank on the back that's in the ground. It's about six feet. We try and get them to bury it as deep as they can, six feet down. And then that just goes through and rips up the ground and it kind of pulls up those big chunks. And then we have to have, I didn't have a video of it, we have to have these big discs come through, huge stubble discs, come through, break up those clods, smooth out that dirt so we're ready to plant. Next step would be installing, for us, uh, was installing irrigation lines. I didn't have a video of that either. I'll probably put some pictures maybe if I can. But we got to install all the underground irrigation lines because we, like we said, we've got these irrigation lines here that we have to 
water the trees. They need water here in the Central Valley. We don't get a lot of it during the summer. The next step is planting. So we do what's called mechanical planting. A lot of guys will hand plant where they'll actually have crews come out and dig a hole, plant the tree, fill the tree in, and go to the next one, which takes a ton of time, a lot of labor, costs a lot of money. Uh, we do what's called mechanical planting, like I showed you in the video. With the tractor, it's got the discs, makes the furrow as it's going, and as it's doing that, there's a couple guys on the back. There's a guy who plants it as that dirt goes over and covers it up. And then usually there's a couple guys walking behind those and they'll, and they'll lean the tree. The reason they lean the tree is because we have what's called the prevailing winds. And so uh, from the Delta in Stockton, we get these winds and they blow from a north, uh, northwest to southeast direction. And so we plant the trees in a northwest angle because we know that that wind's going to blow those trees and eventually it's going to raise or straighten those trees out. And so we don't want to plant them straight because then they'll just tip over, uh, especially in these strong winds that we'll get. So we get them planted and now they're ready to go. Now that we've got them planted, basically for the next three years, all we're doing is taking care of this tree. So now they're at this stage now. So these trees actually right here are six leaf trees. Uh, so they're at this stage now and we got our normal growing season. So uh, in February, beginning of February, that's when the trees will start to bloom. They're coming out of dormancy. They're, they're waking up for the spring. And so they'll put off like a lot of plants and trees do. They'll put off these, they have, they grow these flowers. And then that's why we need the bees to come in and pollinate those flowers. So that we can have a crop. That's how you get the almonds they have to be pollinated by bees so they've been pollinated uh, and then now we got to start taking care of them mowing irrigating and we got to be really conscious about our irrigation and then uh, about for us the end of august it's time to harvest thanks for watching guys give it a thumbs up uh comment if you have any questions if you what tell me what you want to see please i want to i want to hear and and do what you guys want to see and uh if you could Share it on your Facebook, share it on Instagram if you thought it was pretty cool. Maybe someone else on your Facebook or Instagram uh, would think it's pretty cool as well. And if you haven't yet, uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. And I promise I'll try and get better at keeping uh, videos coming at a pretty constant rate. And try and make them more interesting. I promise I'll get better as time goes on. And uh, thanks for watching.